Good evening, I'm Athena Drage. Tonight, part two of our exclusive naval journey up the California coast. News Channel 3's Peter Doubt spent several days at sea with hundreds of sailors and Marines, many stationed at 29 Palms. Earlier this week, he shared his experience aboard the USS Somerset and highlighted some of the training. And tonight, he's giving us an in-depth look at the warship's namesake and its connection to United Flight 93. Poignant reminders of Flight 93 can be found throughout the USS Somerset. On every deck, there are photos, maps, and street signs from Somerset County, Pennsylvania. We also found this framed memorial quilt containing squares made by the loved ones of each of the 40 passengers and crew members who sacrificed their lives to avert an even greater tragedy. One of the names, Louis Joseph Joey Naki II. A common field one day, a field of honor forever. Patrick White is Naki's cousin and helped to christen the Somerset back in 2012 when it became the last of three Navy ships named for 9-11 attack sites. I love the boy. We miss him. White chose to join the warship on its journey from San Diego to San Francisco in honor of the man he considered a younger brother and all Flight 93 heroes. They're the ones that stood up, said not on our watch, not today. Naki was one of the passengers who fought back against the terrorists and attempted to regain control of the plane. His wallet and remains discovered inside the cockpit at the crash site near Shanksville in Somerset County. The 42-year-old Pennsylvania man was on the plane headed to San Francisco for business on 9-11. He left behind a wife and two sons. His cousin was the best that America has to offer and the very heart of what our nation stands for. Do you feel your cousin's presence on this ship? I do. I do. Um, I feel it often at times when it's just quiet reflection. Let's roll. The rallying cry of another Flight 93 passenger before they storm the cockpit is posted all over the ship. We're on the bridge, and the bridge is where we drive the ship. Commanding Officer Captain Andy Coy says it reminds them that heroism is not achieved, but revealed. It helps us uh, come together as a fighting force uh, to learn from that and uh, to take power from uh, those uh, citizen warriors. Good evening, sailors and Marines of Somerset United. We were with White as he delivered a message to the nearly 1,000 service members aboard the warship. Face each challenge is an opportunity to demonstrate that your personal courage shines through no matter what adversity you face. Those aboard Flight 93 did just that. White also helped with the creation of the National Flight 93 Memorial, where each year on 9-11, Somerset crew members attend the remembrance ceremony. As we passed beneath the Golden Gate Bridge, several crew members stood in formation on the deck to form the number 93. San Francisco was where Flight 93 was supposed to land, and though the plane never made it, its namesake warship will continue to honor the flight's heroes. Right center rudder, standing on course, 064. Wherever it goes. I'm curious, what do you think your cousin would say about this ship? Let's roll. Peter Doubt, News Channel 3. Such a great story. You can watch Peter's other in-depth story on the Somerset and see some web extras from his naval journey by heading to KSQ.com.